Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today what I'm going to be doing is showing you my makeup storage. I'm going to go through my drawers behind you, go through each drawer, tell you what I store in each drawer um, and then what I'm going to do after this is film an individual video of in depth um, of each drawer so like tell you about what I think of the product and stuff today I'm just going to be sh giving you like a little overview of what my makeup storage actually looks like um, I know this has been quite highly requested so basically I hope you enjoy the video I'm just going to turn this around to start showing you what my makeup storage looks like so bear with me two seconds right. so guys I've got the um, Ikea Alex drawers um, these were £90 from Ikea this is what most of your beauty bloggers tend to use um, for their makeup storage. So on the top here, I've just got a nice little Yankee candle in my favourite scent, Cozy by the Fire. Um, a white grace um, diffuser, which Emma bought me for Christmas. And then I've got my makeup brushes. I've got two pots. Basically, I normally keep... Um, at the moment these are actually all clean but I normally have one pot um, with dirty brushes and one pot with, pot with clean brushes um, or I will um, have like an eye brush pot and, and a face brush pot just depends on how I've organised them I've got loads of different brands I've got Beau Bell I've got um, Nanshki um, what else have I got in here um, what are these ones Blank Canvas Real Techniques um, Makeup Revolution, I've got loads of different brushes um, and these feel good ones, look good, feel better ones are quite good as well. Um, so first drawer I've got, this is, I haven't actually got anything in this one here, um, this is actually like my face stuff. So I keep my found I've got sectioned it all off. So I keep my foundations in here. I don't really have that many foundations because I tend to try and use one up and then go on to the next one. Um, I keep my concealers in here. I only use two concealers and they're currently in my um, actual makeup bag. And the back, um, I'll just pull this one out so you can have a little look. Oh, I need to start and label everything to be quite honest. At the back here, I need to get a little box to put in there. But this is where I keep all my contour stuff. So I'll leave this along and then um, in the back bit here, this is where I keep my primers and my um, fixing sprays and things like that. i um, got quite a few of those because I like to use primers and fixing sprays and then just some um, contour instructions because I'm not a master at contour yet. Um, so this is like my face products. Um, this is again a face product drawer. So in this little box here, I've got my bronzers. Fake Bake, Miss Beauty, Ted Baker. Um, this is my powders, pressed powders, loose and um, pressed. Um, I've got a couple of the infallible ones because I bought one myself and Emma also gave me one. Um, I've got a 17 Maybelline one. And then at the back, one of my favourite boxes, I'll just pull this out so I can pull it forward, is my highlighters. Um, I've got loads of different ones. I've got liquid, I've got balms, I've got powders, I've got Makeup Revolution, they do amazing highlighters. Um, Freedom, what else have I got? Madame Lala, um, and I've got a Smashbox one in there as well. So I've got quite a few of those. Then if I pull this one to this side, I've got blushes. Um, I've got a couple of Soap and Glory ones, most of these are Makeup Revolution. Um, and I've got a Sleek one as well in there. So that's that one. Next drawer down is my lip drawer, which you can tell is absolutely fully loaded. So this drawer is just my normal lipsticks. Um, so I've got Ted Baker, Smashbox, Essence, Makeup Revolution, I've got UK, um, Rimmel ones, Barry M, um, I've got all sorts of different brands in there. So they're just my normal lipsticks. This box is matte lipsticks, so anything that's matte stays in here. 17, these are amazing, the mega matte ones. Um, MUA, Lime Crime, um, I've got these ones off eBay. Um, Pound Shop, the um, makeup gallery ones, they're quite good. Um, Primark ones, New Look, got a few different ones in there. So I'll just pull this out. I've got um, some lip coat as well just down the sides here. Just in case I want to seal any of my lipsticks. Then this one at the back, just pull this forward. This is my liquid lipsticks and balms and glosses. Um, so I've got Tanya Burr, Soap and Glory, MUA Looks, they're like the metallic -y ones. I've got New Look, Rimmel, Maybelline. I've got quite a few different ones in there. I'll just push this back, put this one back in. And 
then if I pull this tin out at the back here this is um i've got like a palette my urban decay vice palette that's just sat in the top of that box so then i've got my lip crayons so there's maybelline new look um i've got lip crayons and um, sharpeners and this is my um lip liner drawer so i've got essence um all sorts of different ones in there technique lord and berry um so that's my lip drawer oh. Then I've got my eye drawer. Um, this is just for like my my um, eye makeup, not my eyeshadows. So in this one, I've got all my brow products. So I've got a HD Brows Kit. I've got a 17, um, what's this one? Topshop, um, Fab Brows, Brow Coat. This stuff has just been launched not that long ago by Lip Coat. This is amazing for glitter eyes um, and to seal your brows. I use it all the time. Um, I've got a, what's this one, the Cura Beauty um, eye, uh, eyebrow pencil, then I've got my eye primers, a couple of W7 ones and this looks minging but it's amazing, the Makeup Revolution Aqua Seal is really good, so I'll just pull this one out, then in here I've got all my eyeliners, um, liquid and pencil, so there's Tanya Berg glitter liners, there is um, Lancome liquid liner, number 7, metallic eyes, um, essence, um, my favourite eyeliner, the 17 liquid eyeliner. And then at the back, here, these are all mascaras. So there's Models On, Lancome, Number 7, Maybelline, Technique, Smashbox. There's loads of different ones. Mascaras and lipsticks alike. I've got so many. And then at the back here, I just keep some little accessories. So I've got like eyelash curlers, tweezers, mirrors. And then those little eye applicators because I sometimes use these to do my um, under eye highlight. So that's that drawer. Then I've got my eyeshadow palette drawer and, and single eyeshadows. So in this pot, in this section here, I keep all my single eyeshadows or like your little um, eyeshadow duos. So I've got like number 17. They do amazing um, eyeshadows. MUA, the little single shadows are pretty good. W7. Um, that's a MAC pigment pot, Lord and Berry, um, and then I've got these little glitters from Blush Sparkle, these do amazing glitters. Then I've got my palette, so I've got the Parental Advisory um, palette from I Love Makeup. I've got the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette, which um, Urban Decay kindly sent me. I've got loads of the Revolution palettes. There's a Me 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 palette there, um, Sleek, another Urban Decay, the Naked Basics palette. Um, MUA, Tanya Burr, another Urban Decay palette at the back, W7 palette there, so that's that drawer. Then next drawer is my nail drawer which is absolutely loaded. Down the side I keep all my nails, these are mostly Elegant Touch because I swear by Elegant Touch nails, you can't go wrong with them, I love them. Um, these are the House of Holland ones, I've got something like the Press On Manicure ones, I've got the Wild London ones. Then in this little impulse tin, this is where I keep all like my um, nail files, um, what else do I keep, like the little wooden nail things, I know what I'm talking about, and then I've got all my nail varnishes, most of these are model zone, I've got the full chrome collection, the full diamond Lux collection, the polish for tans, um, I've got Avon, these are really good, the Maybelline Colour Show ones, um, what else have I got? Most of this is model zone stuff. Then obviously my nail polish remover, um, nail art pens, a couple of Tanya Burr polishes there, um, which are pretty good as well. Then I've got my fragrance drawer, which this was one of my most popular videos when I've done it before, so I think I'll do this one again. Um, and they, I keep my body sprays and body mists and things at the front, and all my perfumes are at the back, um, as well as I've got a couple on the shelf over there. Then next drawer down, I'll just go through a couple of these actually. I've got Impulse, Ted Baker, Body Fantasies, um, all the Nicki Minaj perfumes, Michael Kors, Beyonce, um, loads of different fragrances, loads of Rihanna perfumes, love the Rihanna ones, all the little Zoella mini mists down there. Then this is my facial skincare drawer. So at the back here, 
just pull this out. At the back, this is just face masks. It's all full to the brim with face masks. I've got, again, I've got my bottles of masks at the back. Then at the front, I've got like my makeup removers, Lancome. This stuff's amazing, the Formula 10 or um, 10 or 6 is it? Yeah, 10 or 6 stuff. Body shop, like my cleansers, face creams, anything like that. Um, I've got those in there. Face wipes. No, you shouldn't really use them, but they always come in handy, so I always keep a pack of those. You've got your Kiehl's cleanser, um, everyone's favourite, or quite a lot of people's favourite, the Liz Earl cleanse and polish. Um, that's quite a popular one. Oh, trap my finger in the drawer. Then, last but not least, that's disgusting. <laughs> Need to take the hair over. This is my um, hair care drawer. So I've got your hairsprays, my brushes, and um, bandanas. Um, I've got a separate set of little drawers for like my um, bobbles and things like that. Um, my refills for my Argan Oil hairbrush, um, leave-in conditioners, um, there's a few different brands, Tresemme, Umberto Gianni, Got To Be by Schwarzkopf, Lee Stafford, this stuff's really good, um, there's some Mark Hill stuff there at the back as well, some Tony and Guy, um, the Umberto Gianni stuff I absolutely swear by, it's amazing, really love it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my drawers. I love them. Like, I'm so happy that I bought them. I need to take the hairs out of that hairbrush because that's disgusting. Um, yeah, um, I could show you what's in these drawers, I suppose, as well. I've got these, this set of chest of drawers. Ignore the water. I'm on, like, a health kick at the moment. Um, and I have to put it up here because if not, um, if you put it in the fridge downstairs, everyone's like, ooh, cold water, we'll drink that. So I tend to keep it out the way. Um, so I've got my little set of chest of drawers at the side here. In my bottom drawer, this is actually my Lush. Well, not necessarily Lush, but my bath bomb drawer. So I've got... Um, all my bath stuff in here, all my bath bombs. Um, so there's bomb, there's these ones which I got. My um, boyfriend's mum got me these for my birthday. I've got Lush, um, all the bomb ones. Um, I've got the Boozy Body Care jelly shots. I've got some bubble bars. I've got all sorts of stuff in there. Um, if you maybe want to see a um, Lush, like a, my bath bomb drawer, I could do that for you if you like. Then the next drawer up, this, if it'll open, Chocker is um oh my god Hang on. it's full to the brim this is basically my hair care like my shampoos and conditioners so this is all literally shampoo and conditioner andrew barton the bleach london this is amazing the live forever conditioner and shampoo and um, this is good for all hair types and it helps to stop your hair from fading and um, it's quite a good alternative for purple shampoo I've got the sexy hair, blonde sexy hair, this smells amazing. The Lee Stafford hair stuff's really good. This is amazing if you're trying to grow your hair. The Lee Stafford um, hair for hair that never grows past a certain length of treatment's amazing. Um, I've got some of the OGX stuff in there. Um, some of the unwash, the hair therapeutics treatments there. Um, some silver shampoo treatments. I've got all sorts of stuff in there. Um, not quite bold enough to try this, but I've got the Bleach London Rose shampoo as well. And then my top drawer. This is actually a little bit empty because I've took some stuff out of it because I've been tanning. This is just a tan draw, believe it or not. So you've got your Saint Tropez. I've got my Bondi Sands, which I swear by. It's my favourite. I love it. Make believe. This is pretty good. Um, I haven't tried this yet. This is, this is the fern tan that I bought at the clothes show. Um, the one I'm using at the moment, which is amazing, but it's a little bit more pricey, is the Madame La La tan. And it is like... You probably can't see on camera, but it just looks like I've been on holiday. It's brilliant. This is amazing. Um, the Bondi Sands Liquid Gold. Love this stuff. Doesn't go patchy. Um, it gives a little bit more of a natural tan. Um, yeah, and I've got the fake bake tan here as well. Not had a chance to try this yet. And my grubby tan in mitts. And I've got the skinny tan as well, which is supposed to be amazing. I haven't tried that yet either. So that, hang on a minute, let me turn me around. That is basically my beauty drawers. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to go through each drawer individually and talk about the products in each drawer a little bit more in detail. Probably do like your face drawers together, then your lips and your eyes and everything like that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And if you've got any video suggestions, any comments, anything like that, they're all welcome below. Thanks for watching. Mwah.